Hello everyone, my name is Kim Nguyen and I lead marketing for Webex Meetings. Thanks for joining us today. And we're here today to talk about my personal favorite feature of Webex. Joining me is my colleague Allison Pace. She leads go to market for this feature. Um, and she's going to be walking us through the details of the, of the product and give us a great demo today. And um, I think this is a feature that's going to be your new best friend, like it is mine. So it's called Webex Assistant for Webex Meetings. And it's the first in-meeting assistant for the enterprise. And personally, I often wonder how I ever lived without it. Um, we launched earlier this summer, and we've been getting some great customer feedback. Uh, we've also received uh, a bunch of requests for a demo that people can refer back to. And so that's why I've, I've invited Allison to come talk to us. Um, she's going to take us through the benefits of Webex assistance and, uh, Assistant and how it works. So, Allison, over to you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for the great introduction. And I absolutely agree. Definitely my best friend and um, definitely one of the most interesting products and feature sets we've ever launched within Webex. So we're really excited to get this out to the market in, in June. So now in the hands of all of our partners and customers. And as Kim mentioned, we're seeing great traction. So what I'm going to do today is share just a little bit about uh, the Webex Assistant, how we see that integration in Webex meetings, what some of the benefits are for customers. And then I will jump over into a demo and share those pieces with you live. So um, again, the benefit here really of, of the WebEx Assistant for Meetings was to take the great capabilities already within WebEx and add in the first AI Assistant ever for the enterprise. And we like to say turning talk into action. So what we're doing is really, you know, when you're in a meeting and you're having those conversations and you were in the past maybe scrambling to take notes or missing next steps and action items, we like to harness the power of the voice intelligence in the meeting and actually take that conversation and turn that into something that you can use. So help facilitate fast follow-up and so forth. So it's now directly integrated into WebEx meetings for one complete experience. And so some of the benefits of the digital assistant, again, eliminates the need to take notes in the meeting. Um, we're all in so many meetings every day and we're kind of trying to catch up and we're multitasking and so forth. The assistant helps capture really what's most important to you in the meeting and we'll show you how to do that. But really the focus here is on meeting productivity. So you're in all these meetings, you've got all these next steps, action items, who owns them and so forth. How do we help you deliver that fast follow up so that you can be more efficient and get time back in your day? And another benefit of the service that you'll see through closed captioning is it really improves meeting accessibility. And we're hearing a lot of demand from that from our customers, both in education, but just in the private sector as well. That added benefit that it brings when you're in a meeting and you can help see those pieces. So again, it's really about being very focused in the meeting. I'm no longer taking notes more focus, more engagement, uh, fast follow-up, and increased productivity. And that's really what our customers want to see. Uh, you can meet and be you know, fully focused on the person sitting across from you on video. You're no longer multitasking, and you retain more of the conversation. And you know that you have that full digital record at any point to go back to, to refer to. You can search, and you can share those things. And again, the goal is more time back in your day. And so we've heard uh, a lot of this from our early customers, you know, more accurate follow-up, increased productivity, hours saved on the workflow because we give you those crisp notes. And we'll show you how to do that and allow you to share that with your team. So I'll jump over to the demo now, but as you think about the WebEx Assistant, really think of beyond just kind of meeting transcripts and those core functions, which are also important, but really think about meeting productivity and help, how we help you accelerate that with the WebEx Assistant. So let me go ahead and share the demo with you. And what I'm going to do is step you through the in-meeting experience, uh, and then we will flip over to the post-meeting experience. And so what you're seeing here is my screen, and I'm just sharing, um, sharing my desktop here, and you're seeing the audio um, being captured in real time. And so this is the, the first pass of this. When the meeting is over, it goes through additional levels of processing as well for things like accuracy, background noise, crosstalk, and so forth. But what you're seeing is the assistant capturing um, in the lower left-hand corner 
When you join a meeting, you'll see the assistant there and the assistant will actually announce itself and wave. Um, and the goal here is to really let everybody in the meeting know that the meeting is being captured, okay? So you see the assistant in the meeting, you hear an audio announcement, and everybody is on the same page that the digital assistant is here to take notes for them. Allison, what's the uh, accuracy of a WebEx assistant? Yeah, so that's a great question. So we are actually the most accurate in the market for business meetings. So we train entirely on meetings and meeting data so that we can deliver the, the highest quality accuracy to you. And we also have first party data management. So we've also got the best security story in the market too. What does that mean, first party data management? That means that everything is, is captured by the WebEx data center. So we are not sending out your information to be processed by anybody else. Okay, great. Yeah, so let me um, jump back over here. And so you'll see the WebEx assistant. The host is the one that has the entitlement for the assistant. And so if the host has the license, they can enable it or disable it. So we allow you to think about the type of meeting that you're having. Do you want the assistant there? Um, but attendees can also interact with the assistant as well and can control their view. And that's important piece is that this isn't just the meeting for the host, it's the meeting for everybody that's there. And they can do things like use voice commands, take highlights, which I'll show you how to do. And of course, if you're having a meeting that you don't want captured by the assistant, you can turn that off too. So we see the, the closed caption panel here, which we can move around, we can change the size, uh, we can enable or disable, and then we have the captions and the highlights panel over on the right-hand side too. And so as I'm speaking, you're only seeing uh, me here on the speaker identification because I'm in the meeting by myself and sharing my desktop. But if you had other participants in here also, you would see their names here as well. So it's capturing this in real time. Again, we'll go through additional processing after the meeting for accuracy. Um, and so one of the most important pieces really um, about the, again, about the tool is the idea around productivity. And so we want to give you the option um, to actually uh, take highlights. And so one thing I forgot to do here is just record the meeting. So let me just this meeting is being recorded for one step. So uh, just like I mentioned, you can determine if you want the assistant on or off during the meeting. You can also determine the level of data that you'd like captured. So um, if you want to have a post meeting transcript, you can turn on recording. And if during the meeting you just want live captioning and you want the highlights post meeting, um, you cannot record the meeting. And so we'll show some of that in the post meeting experience too. But again, back to productivity and giving you the best notes. Um, that's a piece that we're really focused on. And so there's three main ways to take highlights during a meeting. And again, you can think about the highlights as sort of like the cliff notes or the really salient points. These are the pieces that if you were to be there taking notes by hand or typing, these are the pieces that you'd want to capture that you could use for your follow up. So there's a couple different ways to take highlights and they'll show up here over on your highlights panel. Um, and the first way is just to speak naturally and the assistant will listen for a couple of trigger words. And when it hears those trigger words, it will capture those and then you can determine if you'd like to make that a highlight or not. So that's one of the features is to just speak naturally and the assistant will just pull out keywords for you. Uh, the second way and the way that's really common and um, is, is a way that you're essentially saying this is the moment that I want captured is to just click to highlight. So if we're in the meeting and Kim says something that's really important like an introduction or a next step or some concerns that she has, I can just click to highlight during the meeting. And you will see these again appear uh, in my highlights panel. So in my post meeting, I'll have access to my highlights, but you can see during the meeting that these are the notes that are important to me. And it will tell you, um, of course, how the highlight was captured as well. So this was captured through a keyword and these were captured by manually clicking to highlight. Okay, so that's the first two ways to, to capture highlights. Uh, and then the third way is to use a voice command. And voice commands are fantastic ways um, to actually get work done during the meeting before the meeting actually ends by using the power of your voice. And so this is a newer kind of step for our customers and something that everybody is you know, comfortable with at home but now growing into in the enterprise. But I can use um, a voice command to create an action item. So I can say, 
Okay, WebEx. The action item is for Allison to share a copy of this presentation with the team by the end of the day. Thanks, WebEx. Okay, action item added. And so what you saw there was that I used the wake word and the assistant actually woke up, kind of spun around, waved to me, let me know that it was capturing that, transcribe that on the screen. And then that will show up on my highlights panel as well. And so one of the, one of the big benefits of the WebEx assistant in addition to the productivity is again, really accountability. I'm in a meeting, was that my action item? Was it Kim's? Who owns that follow-up, right? And so we can use voice commands to call that out very clearly to drive accountability. And that's something that our customers really enjoy about the service. So those are the main, oh, sorry, Kim, did you have a question? Yeah, so I know that we've been in trials for a couple of months now, and actually it's, the product is Audible now. What kind of feedback have you been getting from customers? We've been getting fantastic feedback. So a, a lot around that um, driving better, what we call sort of meeting hygiene in a meeting. So this idea now that we have the assistant and we can stay on track, right? Because we can use voice commands for agenda and, and so forth and, and to, to kind of set action items. So it's really driving this good kind of crisp meeting behavior. Um, we're getting a lot of feedback around the time that people are, are saving post meeting right in the follow up uh, as you go through that transition of learning to trust the service uh, and and knowing that you no longer need to take notes and kind of moving into that next step of sharing your action items and your follow up and bringing the team up to speed um, people are seeing a lot of benefits there and then i think the third one we're hearing a lot about is around education and accessibility and people really fe feeling excited about the fact that they're able to follow along better in the meeting and have, have a better understanding of what's happening. Okay, so that was the in-meeting experience. What happens after the meeting? Yeah, that's a great question. So let me show you what happens with all your information and how you can share it. So once the meeting is over, uh, everything is integrated into your WebEx site. So just like in the meeting, uh, it's integrated in the post meeting, it's integrated as well. And so I come over and I look at my past meetings and I can see here that I've got a transcript and a recording on this one. So if I wanna take a look at this, you'll see the tabs. I have my highlights and I have my transcript and I have my recording. And so I have the option here to edit my highlights or edit my transcript or my highlights. I can add this to my highlights. Um, I can download the transcript if I want the full transcript. And the really important piece uh, is I can play the audio on any of these particular moments. So the really, again, when you're trying to complete fast follow-up, it's not usually to go back and listen to an hour recording. It's very um, infrequent that people actually do that. You're usually just looking for a moment that you missed. So you can go in here and you can listen to that. And I can say, you know what, Kim had this question. Did I hear that correctly? Let me just play that again. Um, and I can also use cross meeting search at the top, which is really powerful, which is just like you would search your inbox, you can search all of your meetings and I could find a particular moment again, click into that and listen to the audio. So that helps you find moments that you want to hear again and want to share. And then if I decide that these are the highlights um, for the session, I can edit them again if I want, or I can just say, you know what, these are the two that were important from this meeting and these are the ones that I wanna share with the team. So I can send those highlights out to get everybody caught up or I can share the entire meeting. And that's really how we help complete the fast follow-up. You have all of your notes here from your highlights. You've got anything you wanna search at any point in time, you can go back to it and find it. You can share it with the team, catch them up to date, and you are good to go off to your next meeting. So that's the highlight there of the post-meeting experience. What about, uh, so the trial I know is continuing. Can people still sign up for it? Yes, absolutely. You can sign up for a trial um, through your Cisco account manager or through your partner. So we definitely encourage you to jump on board um, and give it a shot. Great. All right. Wow. Well, thanks, Allison. And, and you know, even though I use WebEx Assistant regularly now, I'm still blown away every time I see it in action. Um, so you really have to use it yourself to believe it. And so uh, I'm going to wrap up now by sharing some resources with you. If you are looking for some basic information on WebEx Assistant, we have a real-time transcription page and an at-a-glance that will be very helpful. We're gonna uh, provide that link to you. There are also some fun YouTube videos that you can watch at your leisure. 
If you want a deeper dive, um, there's a great information on our WebEx help portal. And finally, um, if you want to sign up for a free trial, you can contact your um, Cisco account manager or partner manager, as Allison uh, said. But you can also just follow this link and you can sign up there. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you like it as much as we do. And thanks so much for tuning in and joining us. Thank you.